The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's PSG, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Kangin Lee plays alongside Vitor Pereira in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Carvajal starts with Ferlo Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stewart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Oh, he's got past his man. Can they forge ahead? He's done it! What's a moment! The opening goal in this Champions League final. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if Mbappe missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is. Now the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Federico Valverde. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Vinicius Junior. Oh, did so well to deny him. taken short a pitch cross fired over well there was impending danger but good defending nicely cut out Away again here on the back of that leveler. Hakimi. Dembele. Dembele. Kevin Mbappe. Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gets them the lead. Just 
what they wanted. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And in by Luka Modric. Pulled off the line. Sound piece of goalkeeping. They all find themselves in a position of menace. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Mbappe he's beaten his man and defensive play to be applauded and really pressing their opponents now can they hit them on the counter can they square the game and a goal the keeper couldn't stop it Real Madrid on turn Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Marquinhos. Bele on the ball. PSG looking dangerous. Oh, he looks threatening. Pulls it back. Determined defending. Now in a more than decent position. An alert piece of defending. looking attack but comes to nothing in the end now can they counter clinically Modric can he put them in front oh no he's missed the opportunity and they remain level well he just lacked composure there didn't he they should be ahead now Ugarte. I have no intention of losing out. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Modric. Teammates around him. Valverde is cutting off the supply. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Kangin Lee. How about the cross? Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. 
Mendy. Vinicius Jr. Might take the lead. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Able to skip past his man. Mbappe. And here's Dembele. Back to Hakimi. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain. Together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Tony Kors. Carvajal. Rodrigo. On to Carvajal. And Bellingham. Now with Modric. And he read it well defensively. Problematic. Nicely timed tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Now space for PSG in the wide position to take the lead. As the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's a good play for him. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Mending. And Valverde. And that's an important intervention. Dembele. Now with Hakimi, and PSG pushing forward with options available. It's looking promising. Big chance! Can they keep it out? And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Federico Valverde. Rodrigo. Valverde. Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway, and there we have it. Six goals divided evenly. Mid. And green space galore for PSG. Kangin Lee. Chance to play it in. Good technique displayed. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. No way through. And the short corner routine. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Corner right on the back of the last one. Well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss. Dembele. And back to Dembele. Dembele. He might be able to carve something out. 
Bodies forward and the break looks on. And he's in. Surely now. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. And PSG using width to good effect. Asensio... As you can see, he just couldn't get enough on it. He'll be frustrated with that one. Militao. That's a useful looking attack launched by Marco Asensio. Well, that's a foul and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. You might say the wall did its job. Lucas Hernandez. beating his opponent with ease who can he pick out sound piece of goalkeeping there's 15 minutes remaining he's in behind oh he's missed but by a minuscule margin well he couldn't have made better contact than that his technique is brilliant he's so unlucky there just with PSG Akimi Marco Asensio waiting to pass and a goal in the lead again fully deserved well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy it's a lovely goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. And give the goalkeeper credit. How important was that? Well, what drama late on. It's a big chance, but I have to say that's a magnificent save. Reflection behind them for the corner. A short corner, let's see. It's still dangerous. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And just five minutes remaining. Nuno Mendes. A timely intervention. Donnarumma. Marco Asensio. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Asensio. It's 
return to Fabian. This could finish it. Great challenge, but still they must concentrate. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Trying to open the mark. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. to Rodrigo and a goal he's doubled his double for the day in superb scoring form well I have to say that's a good finish he knew exactly what he wanted to do there he's just passed it into the corner that's a nice goal Marquinhos, now with Hakimi, Ferreira, Hakimi, Mbappe, oh managing to beat him, really important tackle, Carvajal, Rodrigo, looking pass no hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead well that was a poor miss could they come to regret that well Real Madrid are going to make the change now Minch here is Marco Asensio Fabian on to Hernandez. Nurovic. Taken away. He won the ball. Valverde. And crossed in there. And he takes it on. The keeper taking care of the situation. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here.
defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. No foul, PSG advantage. Hakimi. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Hakimi. It's still alive. Well, they can bring it out now. Bellingham. And Bellingham. Can he put it away? A goal! And that is going to be that. Game on the trophy for certain. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. On to Hernandez. Nuno Mench. Here is Marco Asensio. The ball with Luka Modric. Vasquez, Luka Modric at the ready. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but then you have to ask what's going on with the defending. He's afforded far too much time, nowhere near enough pressure on him, and they're punished as a result. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Vitor Ferreira. Now with Hakimi. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. be opening up on the opposite flank another stoppage time situation one minute here good use of advantage in favour of PSG Fabian and it's opening up and the ball is loose and there it is Real Madrid Champions League winner Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing. Trotting over towards their supporters to say thank you. A collective effort always on these occasions well what more can you say they are the best team in Europe
these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.